Let him watch that. Official credit card of NASCAR. Perfect for race fans. Race fans are here today. Coming out to enjoy a little Xfinity Series racing from the Lady in Black, Darlington Raceway. All right. Tyler Reddick, I think a surprise last year when he won the championship and changed teams to Richard Childress Racing and now has had great success in 2019 defending his championship. And right now, outrunning the cup drivers. Walking with his hands, talking to his crew chief, talking to Crowley, <laughs> telling him what the car needs to do better. Now, we continue to talk about how short this race is, under 100 laps to go this time around. First set of pit stops we're going to see. Very difficult to recover. you got to at least maintain, try to gain a spot, maintain on pit road. Dave. Second place, Ryan Blaney would like some options. He knows cars are running fast on the high line. He said, my car is too loose to do that. Four fresh Goodyear Eagles and Sunoco fuel to fill. Third place, Christopher Bell, middle of your screen. That car would not turn the way he needed it to at Darlington. So they'll make adjustments there, Marty. Long way down pit road for Tyler Reddick, who's led 32 laps to this point, Dave. He said, I've been a little too loose, but I'm almost kind of afraid to adjust on the car because I feel like the track is changing. So they're going to make a small air pressure adjustment here for Tyler Reddick, who's been the dominant car at the end of the run, four fresh Goodyear tires as well, and they asked him to shot, stop short so he can get around Landon Castle, who's sitting right in front of him, tight pit road here at Darlington, looks like Reddick will be able to keep the lead off of pit road, although it's close with Bell there at the end. Great race off pit road, as the work continued there on the 18 for Denny Hamlin, you see Reddick holding that top spot. See how valuable Bell got a spot? Yeah, how valuable that number one pit stall was. Danny Hamlin plus four spots up inside the top ten. Hillis Dylan, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Hey, Junior. Your buddy's up in the booth. How's it going, man? Hey, and it's going good. What you doing? Watching you, talking about you. you know, give us something good to talk about. As high as I thought I was going to be. My heart rate's not as high as I thought it was going to be. These guys race harder than I thought they did. <laughs> that old uh, Jones boy I was holding off for racing there. He was racing hard. It's a lot of fun, though. What about it? What's the surprise right now? Anything surprising you? I didn't think I'd do this good. <laughs> <laughs> I lowered my expectations. Aim low, right? That's what I do. And uh feel like we're doing pretty good. So, car's great. Probably way better than the driver is. Hopefully we can get all the laps. Just get off. All right, so what does what uh, your car need to do better? I know you're saying it's all you. I don't buy it. What can, you, what can your car do better to help you? So I was real happy with one and two. Or actually, I was happy with three and four. Up high, down low. Real pleased with the balance there. But if I'm in the rubber, like right here, if I'm running basically where the right up, rubber is, I'm really tight through one and two, especially on the corner exit over here. I have to get the right front either below the patches in this green or even above the patches on kind of a high line, maybe a whole car length off the apron to get the car to turn through here. If I go through here in the traditional plate, it's super tight. So I don't think we can fix that with the car. I think that's just the rubber on the racetrack and the, and the patches and so forth. So that's a bit tough to navigate, but it's fun. Well, I don't know if you can hear all that debris hitting underneath your car when you drive that high line, but if I was an air here, I wouldn't go there. That scared me. It is really uncomfortable. <laughs> You're right. It's not, it's not very comfortable. But I saw Danny Hamlin do this a couple years ago. I think the last race of my career. I saw him run that high entry into one and that high exit and make up a ton of time, and it works. If you can get it, if you can hit it just right on old tires. So try to try to predict that and understand when to go up there and use it. All right, buddy. Thank you. Good luck. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's a race car driver turned broadcaster that's back in a race car. 